Now here on the settings page, um, they have a lot of features here you can just check on and off. Uh, you can add your Twitter account, your Delicious account, Instapaper, read it later, Google Reader, so if you share any uh, bookmarks that you like in Google Reader, it will automatically add them. Um, you can even bookmark stuff by email, which is also quite handy. Another thing that Pinboard really does well is importing bookmarks quickly. Delicious, I only I haven't really used Delicious all that much, but I did import my bookmarks, all 900 of them, <laughs> and it was really slow. But Pinboard took less than 15 minutes for all of my bookmarks, so it worked really, really well. And then uh, it even gives you instructions on how to do it for different other bookmarking services. Of course, you can change your password. I don't know why that's on a separate tab. And then uh, it has a couple beta features, which are um, not all that interesting. And then uh, they also have a lot of different really nice descriptions. If you are a newcomer and you didn't learn enough from my video, you can just read this and they tell you a lot, which I did learn a lot from this stuff. They explain things really well, which isn't particularly a feature, but it is helpful if you're new. So uh, another thing, now I'll show you the Chrome extension is and re other resources. If you have your own website, they have a nice link role, as they call it, which uh, you can just show right on your website all of the links that you bookmarked, which is really handy to have. And of course, tag cloud widget, and then you have different mobile applications, so for iPhone and iPad, Android, and then you have your browser uh, browser plugins, which. Um, when I say they don't have a Firefox plugin, I mean they don't have an official Firefox plugin. Because Pinboard has the same API as Delicious. A lot of other people made unofficial plugins for Pinboard. So, uh, yeah, these are a lot of unofficial ones. They do have some Firefox ones. And then uh, some desktop applications, which I haven't used. And then you have web applications, so Google Reader. And then uh, different. Uh, alternatives, which is kind of funny because they advertise other social bookmarking services that are free right on this page. So they're not really worried about the competition. Uh, so I will show you the Chrome extension here. Let's just go, what do you want to look for? I don't know. Maybe a, a um, cactus picture. Yeah, sure, why not? So, if I wanted to save this cactus picture in Pinboard, all I have to do is click on this right here and save to Pinboard. I can add in this pop-up my tags and a description. So, cactus, this is an epically, I don't know how to spell that. I'll just say, this is a very cool spiky cactus. You can add bookmarks, and it's saved that fast. So I go back here, and it's right here in my bookmarks. Now, if I wanted to see another cactus, but this time I don't want to save it as a bookmark, I just want to read it later. So I want to make sure I really, really like this cactus picture before I bookmark it. I click on here, and I click on read later and you're done. If you go back to your um, pin board here and you click unread, it's right here and then you can mark it as read or delete it if you don't really want to bookmark it. Now another thing that you can do is save tab sets. So if I wanted to save my pin board and this cactus as a tab set, I can click right here and then name it hello cactus set. I don't know. You can save it and it's right there in your tab sets. And if there's anything else, you can just click unread bookmarks to kind of read it later style as well. See all your bookmarks and read them. Um, you can get to your, all of your bookmarks really quickly. You can see your friends and of course you can load your tab sets. 
So that's about it on Pinboard. There's a lot of, it's just a really great service. I, I completely am fine with paying $9.30 for this service, even though there are other social bookmarking services out there that are free. I can't vouch for Delicious because I haven't used it, which I probably already said, but I just thoroughly enjoy using this service. I just do. <laughs> so, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this quite thorough and lengthy review of Pinboard. At least I think it's lengthy. I was looking at the recordings, and it was like 18 minutes. It'll probably be shorter by the time it ends, But and I edit it. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, uh, here's all my links you can check out. Uh, rhinofee.com is my website. There's a contact form there. And a ton of social links you can check out as well there. Probably more there than underneath the description. And uh, I have um, a Facebook page at rhinofee.com slash FB. I only need 10 more people to like my page and then I can get an official Facebook username. So please like my Facebook page. And I have a Twitter account at Nathaniel at Nathaniel underscore H. And Hey, what is this? Get, get away! This is stupid! <sighs> okay.